for now, I guess we're just waiting on uh, yeah. Toby to come. Uh, any second now. Yeah, just waiting for he this, should be, this he, should, he should be connecting us via wire. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> um, from Stuttgart, Germany, um, which is the home of Mercedes. There he is. On point. Hello. Hey, guys. Hey, Toby. Good afternoon. Can you hear me? Hello, hello, hello. Yes. We, we, the... we read you loud and clear. Yeah. Okay. Because I got a new notebook in December and I never tried out Skype chat, to be honest with you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's working. No idea how it sounds. Yeah. Can you, can you see us? Uh, I have to yeah, it's get little... my, my picture out of the way. So, okay, now. Oh, it's, now I can see you. Okay, cool. There we go. Hey, Toby, good to see you. Good to talk to you again. Welcome. Yeah. Thank you for calling us. Yeah. How, no how how's, how's the weather in Stuttgart? Oh, if I look outside, it's it's... It's not like a normal uh, April, you know. It's it's more like February. It's more like winter time. Oh no! Yesterder yesterday we had snow. Oh what? It's oh no! It's terribly cold, you know. It's oh, it's about four degrees outside. It's don't, colder don't, than normal, you know. Don't don't Germans have a saying that April does what it wants? Yes, correct. <laughs> yeah, we have different seasons in in one day. So from sunshine to to snow, everything can happen in April. In <laughs> Well, thanks for calling us. This this had been a, a long time coming. Uh, we, we we tried to get something together for earlier last year, but things yeah. came out. It came up in the way. We really, really thank you so much for calling us. It's good. It's good to talk to you again. Are those some Americans' license plates off to this off to your wall there? <laughs> yeah, they, yeah, they are. <laughs> I love traveling to uh, to the United States and through the United States. So. Um, yeah, from every state, I pick up a license plate and uh, hang them. <laughs> oh the man, I can, I can, <laughs> carry a wrench. We can, we can carry a wrench with you. I can, I can fix you up with a with a, with an Ontario license plate next next time we see you. <laughs> yeah, I was there too, but I didn't pick up a license plate. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, downstairs there another one, uh, a few a few more, you know. Nice. This is just my office here. True, true, true. Um, I know that you're not gonna come. The you're not gonna go. Let's let's get right to it. You're not gonna go yeah. to the next Grand Prix in Russia. No. Russia uh, is not not the best Grand Prix to go to, <laughs> as was China. It's not it's not my favorite one, you know. So I skipped that one. Yeah, yeah no, and, and and obviously that's one of the reasons that we that we're talking right now. Otherwise, you'd be getting ready to go on a plane or or, or, or something. Um, but Russia is coming up, and we we do have uh, mm -hmm. like a, a, a few a few of our listeners or whatever are expecting that we at some point or another talk about the upcoming Grand Prix, and I sure. I did want I did want to get your opinion. On it because I'm sure, yeah, like you said, there is a reason why you're not coming. I mean, I'm, and I'm sure that it, that the reason is more than just the overcomplicated visa process to get into Russia. It's everything. It's not no. It's it's not like you know. I don't like uh, to, to get into a country with uh, restricted press uh, freedom or something like that. You know, it's it's just the overall experience in in Russia is not. You know, it's it's very hard to get there. You know, the, the there are not many different flight connections. You have to arrive very late and and, and leave very early, or stay a day longer. And then there's the visa process. And um, yeah, uh, Sochi is a very. It's just a little a small town. You know, you, you can't see a lot, and the the food is not to my tasting. You know, it's, <laughs> and, and you know, I, I'm doing I'm doing only ten ten uh, races this year, and if I can choose, I. I'd rather choose choose other ones and let my colleagues go go there, you know. Yeah. So I, I've been to to Australia and and uh, Bahrain, so they're much better. I oh have yeah. To say. Food it's not that I, I don't like Russia. I, I I have only seen Sochi, you know, and it's, <laughs> it's 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 nice. The Olympic venue is quite nice, but the track is a bit boring. I have to say, you know, it's um, yeah. but it's it's not that I don't like Russia in in general, you know, but uh, Sochi is not for a Formula One journal, journalist. It's not. An overwhelming, overwhelming experience to go there every year and track was more yeah. of an afterthought there. Yeah, where they yeah. built it. But, yeah. but, but, like you said, you you you've been already to the first two races, which were yeah. really, really good. Quite exciting. The third one was good as well. Oh, the third one was great. Most yeah. overtakes in the F one history. Yeah. Too bad you had to yeah. sit through those first two qualifyings, but. <laughs> yeah, it, it wasn't that bad. It was, you know, it, everyone, everyone was was uh, was looking forward to see just to see what what happens. You know, yeah. in the end, it was a disappointment. You know, but yeah. we were still excited. You know, and and we said even it was so so bad. It was actually, you know, it was so bad. 
at, at least we had something to write about, you know. And, and <laughs> our, our readers, they, they discussed on our website, they, they wrote comments under under those those articles. So, um, yeah, it, it, it was so bad that actually it got got so much attention, you know, that it was it was what, so bad was it was good somehow good good yeah somehow <laughs> it was good and and in the end the the races were good um, due yeah, to the qualifying because Mercedes had to start on the on the softer tires, you know, right. on the softest tire. And and so the races got, I think, the races got more exciting because of it. And we saw in China, uh, Mercedes was able to go through Q Q two with the with the harder tire, harder tire, and that made it pretty easy for for Nico Rosberg in the in the race. So I think going back to last year's qualifying is is a big advantage for Mercedes, and it could make uh, races uh, boring again, you know. Yeah, but we have a more exciting qualifying, so we have to say, yeah, <laughs> you you can only have one, you know. Maybe it would have been better to leave Q two, you know, like uh, the old way. I don't know, you know. I know that m many fans they were just just against it, anything uh, new. So uh, maybe that was part of Bernie's uh, master plan. <laughs> he just created yeah. this hype, and then he's like, yes, yeah, I, I, yes. I, I don't, I don't have the perfect solutions, you know. But, yeah. but you have to say every 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 mode qualifying mode. Uh, has his, his advantage and ad, advantages and disadvantages. Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, yeah. yeah, I don't There's think there's no perfect solution. I don't think anybody can like speak very like you know with, with any authority on what Bernie's plan is. I don't think I don't think Bernie has a, a plan other than brush his teeth. Like you know, <laughs> further than that, he's probably just rolling the dice. Whatever comes, oh yeah, yeah, I got I got power units for everybody. I got races <laughs> for everybody. Dishing them out. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Toby. One thing that I wanted to ask you, like still from 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 the, those previous races, as as the person that was there in the paddock and saw it happening, uh, specifically for Bahrain, how was Stoffel Van Dorn, and how was the <laughs> people, and how was people's reactions to how good he performed, and he outperformed Jensen Button. Yeah, I, I, he, he definitely did a good job. You you, you know you, can, you cannot criticize this, especially. Um, if I were McLaren, I knew that uh, Fernando Alonso uh, was somehow hurt, you know, and there was at least a, a little bit of risk uh, mm -hmm. that he couldn't race. I would have uh, gotten Van Dorn earlier to Bahrain, you know. He, he arrived there on Friday morning, I guess, and he did his homework, you know, learning all the procedures on the plane from, from Japan because <laughs> yeah. he was doing a super formula test there, you know. Yeah. So uh, I don't know how much uh, sleep he, he had on that on that overnight uh, <laughs> flight, you know, and uh, and Enough. then he, he had a few a few issues with the break by wire during free practice, but you know in the race it was it was yeah you know, I can't find anything you know to, to criticize him and mm. but people you know you, you more or less expected it from him you know if, if last year we we saw him all in GP two and what he what he did there so. Uh, <laughs> This guy is definitely Formula One material, you know, maybe mm -hmm. champion material. You you can't you, you can't judge that, that from just from GP two in one race in Formula One, but you know he he didn't put a foot wrong, you know. For, for, in my opinion, you know, he has proven that he he got it all, you know. But he he has to find a drive, you know, for next year maybe a, yeah. a good car, not just a manner, you know, to 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 show that then what he can really do, you know. But but th but, th but then that brings the question. Listen, if you're Ron Dennis, if you or or, or Mansoor Roger or whatever, uh, at McLaren, and you have two seats right now, as things stands, mm -hmm. who do you keep? Do you keep Alonso or do you keep yeah. Button? Yeah, you have to keep Alonso. You know, Alonso is just it, it's the name. It's it's everything. You know, it, 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 Alonso is the guy. You know, if you want to know what the car is capable of doing, you have to you have to. Have a guy like Alonso, you know, a uh, two-time world champion. You know, he's he's still recognized as as one of the best, maybe the best. You know, with right up there with uh, with Hamilton and Vettel and, and and all of them. You have to keep him to have a, a benchmark, you know. But um, I like Jensen Button a lot, you know. Yeah. But I I don't know if he is, and and he he still is a good racer, you know. He he showed that last year, you know, beating Alonso in the in, in the points category. But um, I think you can have Van Dorn for a much cheaper price, <laughs> and um, yeah, you, you you can have Jensen if you want the, the you know the the image because the, Jensen is a great guy you know and for for sponsors you know they 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 ra they'd rather have have Jensen for sure than than, than Stoffel. But um, I think um, in this this case, um, if I were on Dennis, I I would give Stoffel a, a, a chance. 
but, but I, hope, I, hope, I hope I hope that I was there at uh, some some press rounds with, with Stoffel and he's you know he's a young guy he's he's not used to all the journalist stuff and you know, he's he's still a bit careful you know and 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 Jensen is much more outspoken if you ask him about uh, yeah. political stuff or, or other stuff he, he gives you much much better quotes you know um, com more controversial quotes and it's it's the beauty of having nothing to lose <laughs> yeah and, and and you know Stoffel he's you know he's he's a little bit you know. How, how should I say? You know, he's he has to grow into this role. You know, first. So, and if if I write a story about Jensen Button, I will get more more traffic on my website than if I write a, I, I write a story about Stoffel van Dorn. But you know, he, he's he's young and he can evolve definitely. And I, I would give him a chance for sure. I was gonna say on on that topic, it's interesting. In the last couple of weeks, all the negative stories coming out about Alonso, about. Uh, He's, he should retire. He's, yeah, he's people, not performing people anymore. People think that he's too old somehow. Because somehow 34, 35 now is too old for yeah. Formula One. And then the headline today, the making a big deal about how he had his eyes closed during the accident. Yeah. <laughs> but that, 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 that says nothing. Yeah. Yeah. nothing <laughs> I, you know. so I, said, I, I would close my eyes too. <laughs> I think yeah. it's just like a natural thing. Um, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, we had what uh, we had what what was uh, on this on this high speed camera and it's it's uh, but people told us they uh, people that that saw more of those, those accidents they say it's not uncommon you know that people that that uh, the visor gets open if you're upside down you know the, through the, the g forces it's it's it's, it's a normal thing yeah. and you know if my visor would open during a, such a high high speed crash I would yeah, yeah. I would do whatever you know uh, yeah. get my, my hands <laughs> I don't know what I would do, you know, but not it's not like a roller coaster. You know, <laughs> smile, you know, for, for the camera, stuff like that. You know, it's, uh, it, it, it must have been a scary moment. So, yeah, yeah but to, to me, it and, just seems and, like an excuse for a negative headline about Alonso. No, 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 you, you should you shouldn't do any headline about that, you know. It's just it's just yeah. interesting for fans, exactly. you know, how we how what what was on that that camera because it, it, you know it's the first season with this camera and it, it was the first. First crash, you know, that was recorded. Uh, Everybody wants camera. to see the video. That video. Yeah, of course, but then you know the, the guys from FIA, they will probably will not release this, unfortunately. That's yeah. so. That's we, we, yeah, we just, we keep it to themselves. There, you know, we, we, we didn't see it ourselves, unfortunately. But we had. You, you also can see how much how much the the helmet was was banged against the, the crash structure. You know, there's oh. they have this kind of styrofoam. Uh, the, uh, structure um, around your yeah. uh, uh, protection structure around your head um yeah and he, he banged his head pretty good against that one yeah. 47 so, g's or something yeah yeah i had that i had that as well more than 40 and it, when they were there were two uh two impacts you know the first impact when he when he hit the wall yeah and then the other other uh, you know after he after he rolled after the, the car gravel, so he had, yeah. he had the four more than 40 g's twice that's why what i heard yeah. but okay so he, he, here's the thing, because uh, I, I, I want to say something, because a lot of tracks are getting their gravel traps paved. resurfaced, yeah. right? Like yeah. paved over. So if if this track <laughs> in particular, if um, uh, 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 what Australia? was Australia yeah, yeah. had had that corner paved over for the motorcycles, we wouldn't have had such a spectacular accident. Let's be honest. He probably would, would have just like <laughs> rolled, hit the wall at some speed, maybe. But the, yeah. the but the car the car would have probably stayed upright. Yeah, uh, I'm not sure about that. I think he already rolled uh, when he hit the wall. You know, he rolled yeah. uh, over the over the wheel because the wheel the wheel tethers kept the kept the wheel close to the to the chassis. Okay, and then the um, they got tangled up and then the car rolled over the, over the wheel because um that's it's like last year with uh, sergio Perez. you know the, remember the the accident in uh, in hungary in free practice it was just uh, very slow on very slow um, velocity okay. you know very slow speeds he was um, he, he rolled the car and that's that's the problem with the with wheel tethers they keep the car keep the wheels to the car and then the car can roll over them and i think the car would would have rolled over even without the without uh, the gravel trap, yeah, because oh, he, he hit the wall and there was this little um, grass strip in mm -hmm. front of the wall. Yeah. I think he rolled already there. I don't know what would happen then with uh, if, if it would if it would have been um, paved. You know, maybe he he would have slid on the on the roll hoop or if the car if he if would would landed on the other side. I have no idea. It's just that, that is speculation. For sure. You know. Yeah. But but there are there are certain advantages and disadvantages with gravel traps and 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 
paved ones. So yeah, on, on different on certain accidents, one is better than the other. So um, yeah, but FIA is, uh, has the opinion that uh, in most cases um, the paved one is, paved is, uh, is safer. It's the safer option, you know. Mm. Yeah. yeah. But 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 there's there's definitely a, a line to tug there, and this uh, this was for a while the discussion at the beginning of the year of where do you stop over regulating for 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 health and safety, um, safety in particular. Alonso walked away from that crash, and like he's mm -hmm. he's still around. He's still today. He's fit to race. Let's say mm -hmm. with with a with a brace or whatever, but he's still fit to race. Yeah. Um. Do do we still like to to what point do you think the like the energy of the people of the FIA should be spent on thinking things up like that like the halo solution yeah. or this or whether you should focus your energies back on fixing the sport you know what i mean on on making yeah. sure that that the sport is sustainable in the long term yeah. it's it's kind of it's kind of like oh, sorry in my opinion, you know, the the safety is 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 just good enough. What we have right now, you know, I'm not a, not a fan of this halo thing or even that that Red Bull, Red Bull solution. You know, I'm um, in my opinion, they can get rid of everything. They uh, they destroy the look of the car. You can't see the helmet. You can't see what the driver is doing. You know, behind the wheel. I I, I don't like it uh, to be honest. But um, yeah, the drivers are most of the drivers are in favor of it. Um, I'm yeah I I. I I, I, I feel that some fans, or most of the fans, you know, you can see that, that from, from uh, some votings, online votings, they don't like it either. And they, if they see next year's car and they are all running around with those halos and they say, what shit is that, you know, and, and then <laughs> yeah. more, even, even more will turn off the TV, you know, like, because we lost already uh, some fans in the last year. So uh, I would say they should get rid of it. Or they they should not introduce us, or they sh they should wait until they found you know a, a, a nicer solution. You know, I know that Alex Woods and the drive there, there are many drivers. They they say we need something now, and you know, and if if something happens next year, you know, if there's a uh, if there's an accident um, that could have pre prevented by by in, by Halo, you know, yeah. you would have you would look you would look stupid, you know, if if yeah. if you had prevented uh, the introduction of that, mm -hmm. you know, so. They don't want uh, to accept the risk, you know, and so it probably will introduce. But I'm not a fan of it, and for me, Formula One is safe enough. You have to, you have to live with with a certain certain risk, rest risk, you know, risk. That's there. That's Formula One, you know. It's not, it's not like golfing, you know. Um, <laughs> it's it's a it's a high speed sport, and if something goes wrong, you know, you can you can hurt yourself like you, you yeah. saw with Alonso, but. Right. For me, Formula One is safe enough. You you can try to improve the tracks, you know. And you can pave all the all the gravel traps, you know. But leave the cars open and let us see the the helmets and and let let them be Formula One cars, you know. That that yeah. that we are used to, that we love, you know. And don't make make a different sport out of it. Right. That that's my opinion, you know. But I can understand the other the other uh, other view on it. But you know, I I fear that some. We will lose some fans, uh, even more fans next year. It's looking like uh, this in the past week now. Red Bulls announced looks like they're going to test their version of yeah. the Halo, the canopy at Russia this weekend. I don't know. They're trying to make theirs a little cooler with the glass. Yeah. Calling it a jet canopy, but yeah, I don't know. I think it looks a bit cooler, but I I, I see the risk, you know, because uh, the the Halo has it has this the pillar center, right in yeah. front of the eyes, you know, and uh, it's. Um, what I've what I've heard is that this the center pillar is better because you you just you know if you focus uh, the view 100 meter in front of you you don't see it you know but if you if you uh, turn your head like in Eau Rouge you know and you have to uh, look look to the left or to the right you know it depends on the corner entry you know yeah. it's, this 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 Red Bull solution with the two pillars on the side they they could irritate irritate the driver the driver and especially in corners like Eau Rouge you don't a you, 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 want, you want to see everything what's in uh, in front of the car a few days ago now Red Bull put a an updated version of their canopy they put the two pillars a bit further back but yeah it's still okay. it's still it looks pretty much the same they just move the pillars a little yeah. bit back but it looks very similar it's almost, it's almost uh, like let's, let's see we have we have to hear what the drivers say we'll see on they, friday i guess yeah. they like if they, if they like it you know or what they like better and, and we have to see what the what the fia says 
um, they have to uh, make a decision very quick, you know, because the, the that's cars happening for next year, soon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. cars for next year are, are still uh, under development, you know, and, and yeah, now April. we have now we have to, to get the regula regulations fixed, you know. Five days, to, April thirtieth yeah. is in five days. Yeah, yeah. But is yeah, it's, it's everything, you know, the the white cars, the white tires, uh, every, every dimensions, you know. Yeah, but but that, it, it 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 it's getting some pushback. Uh, Total Wolf was quoted as saying that he thinks that there shouldn't be any changes yeah. for 2017. Um, mm -hmm. I, I mean, I could, from the point of view of the leading manufacturer and the guy that's getting one, you know, first place at every race, I can I can see yeah. why you would want stability because then you can just keep winning. Yeah. <laughs> but, but yeah, I know, I know. It's 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 it's, it's again. It's a, it's a point where, where there's where there's no perfect solution. You know. Also, not it's not only Mercedes. Also, smaller teams they don't want want this new uh, regulation for wider cars. They say because it will definitely uh, hurt race, racing. You know, cars will be, become quicker. More aero downforce means uh, following each other is is more difficult. Yeah, Overtaking yeah. Is, is is of course more difficult. So I'm not sure. You know, it's it's um, of of course you know it's. Uh, Everything that could 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 stir up the um, um, uh, the Mercedes dominance, you know, uh, would be a good thing right yeah. now. But I, first of all, I, I'm not sure this will achieve this. Um, the other point is cars will become uh, four, five, six seconds uh, uh, quicker per lap. <coughs> but you as a fan, you you will not see that anyways. You know, uh, on TV, you you, you can't see if a car is five no. seconds quicker a uh, lap or not. Um, I'm not sure. The cars will look cooler, uh, for sure. You know, if cars are wider, it's always good. If tires are wider, it looks better. Um, the wings, wider the tires lower, is, wider is, wings again. Yeah, the, the wider wings, the front wheel, front wing might might look a bit ridiculous. You will see. <laughs> <laughs> really, is exciting to see the first pics of the car, the next, next of the real cars next year. You know, yeah, you, you it's like 2009. You know, when we first. Saw those cars, you know, and we were used to the old ones. We saw, we, we thought back we were wing, never yeah. get used to it, you know, with the with the high wings and the high, high rear wing and the it looks the normal small, to me now. The, the, the narrow and, and high rear wing, and we thought, mm, no, 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 no. <laughs> what shit is that, you know? <laughs> now we all got used to that, and, and next year the, the front wing will become even even more wide. But they, they look normal wider, now, right? So. It it looks it looks fine now. Yeah. Yeah, like the, 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 I think all, all experts um, n now realize that the, the perfect solution would be just to just to uh, increase mechanical grip, you know, just um, just wider tires and maybe a, um, a bigger bigger diffuser on the end, because because um, that don't that doesn't affect um, the close racing too much, or, or or like like you know like bigger front wing or, or bigger bigger. Uh, chassis surface, you know, so to have to have more aero downforce on on top of the car, but you know they they now found this solution or this this compromise with the uh, uh, one one meter sixty cars, white white chassis cars. So yeah, I probably I think they will go through with it, and um, I don't think they will go. The, my for my opinion, they should at least they should wait one year and again one. I know that fans if they if they hear are oh, they they they. they, they didn't decide anything, you know, and, and we have still have to wait one year. <laughs> and they say, oh, they, they, they cannot decide anything and we'll criticize, yeah. criticize it again. But, um, but, I, but I think 2018, should... 2018 will be more meaningful, though, because they could do yeah. en engine changes as well as chassis changes for both. Yeah. But, but engine changes won't come. Uh, engine no. formula changes, you know, that's, that's, that's out of the window already. Maybe we will have those, you Maybe know. Maybe 2020. Uh, yeah, 2020. 2020, four more years. That yeah, makes more that's, sense. That's that's what what I think, probably for the next engine change, uh, engine formula change. You know, we will have a uh, new engine and engine regulation for 2018 with the um, with the cheaper engines, maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah, and uh, like red and red the bull, three engines a year, maybe obligation to supply. You know, but yeah, I'm I'm curious to see. I want to decide that uh, too now on this uh, strategy group meeting. To, I think it's tomorrow, yeah. the day after tomorrow, and the, the Formula One Commission meeting. You know, I, I'm not sure. You know, because Ron Dennis he was uh, very much against it. You know, because he yeah. wanted to, to have the exclusive, um, the exclusive partner uh, by Honda. Yeah. Honda, yeah. 
and he, he fought you know he really fought hard against it you know and, really um, mm -hmm. yeah I'm, and till 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 the last races you know i i don't think or i i have no information if he changed his mind you know in the in the last days or, or weeks so i'm very very curious to see what what will happen there tomorrow you know, or the next next strategy group meeting if they if they really find the find a solution for for all the for all the open questions you know i'm yeah, let's let's wait and see. We will we will we will know uh, in, in a few days. Yeah. On the thirtieth is supposed to be decided the obligation to supply rule. It's supposed to be yeah. agreed. Yeah, this week. Otherwise, otherwise, Paul Hembry takes his show out of the road. <laughs> Paul Hembry takes Pirelli <laughs> out. What what is, what, what is that all happen. about? What like what? I, I, uh, they don't they don't want to to leave F one, do they? No, they don't want. No. They don't want to leave F1, but you know they got they got a lot of bad publicity in, in the last years with a with a uh, the, with the tire punctures. You know, last year with uh, with Vettel in, uh, in in Spa and 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 the criticism by the drivers afterwards. And the criticism was not just about about those those punctures or exploding tires. You know, it was just a general criticism of of tires not not giving enough grip and and and. Uh, yeah, um, degrading too uh, too early and not not const in a constant manner, you know. So yeah. they they want they just want better tires, and they they made it clear to Pirelli that they want they want to have tires that, they, that behave in a, in, a, in, a, in a better way, you know. They made a more like racing tires. What, what they expect. Yeah, they, they they made a list what to expect from the tires and what Pirelli has to deliver for next year. And yeah, but but for Pirelli, it's Formula One is still 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 a good uh, showcase to uh, you know, for for the road road tires. You know, they I think they it, it's it's good pub in, in general. It's a good publicity. You know, every everybody knows that Pirelli is building Formula One tires, and right. the yeah. the the markings are very nice. You know, with the with the different colors, and I think they they like being in Formula One and, and having the the attention. And yeah, but but you know, um, the the teams are not making it easy for uh, for Pirelli, as you can see now with the with the testing for next year, yeah. with all the with all the issues uh, that we had, and yeah, and I, I think there will be lots a lot of lot of more uh, will be more discussions uh, as the year goes on, as teams have to build those special cars, you know, to to simulate uh, 2017. I don't I don't know cars. if you, you you didn't see it. I think it was today was now agreed that. Pirelli will get for 2016, 17, yeah. and 18, 25 days testing yeah. in a current car. The current yeah. year car. No, in, yeah, in, in current cars and in, in modified cars. They can, yeah, both, they can, do both. They can pretty much, uh, for next year, they can pretty much test what they want. Whatever, know, in, yeah, whatever they want. In those 25, 25 days, you know. But, That's uh, a lot of testing. I, That's good. In, during testing. Yeah, they had to have additional testing days, which is good. But there will, there's a question what. Um, um, how how good are those cars? You know how um, um, how good can you test next year's tires? Because you don't know how much downforce next yeah. year's cars will have, how big the loads are, and what the tires need to uh, need, need to pressures. handle. You know, so it will be interesting. And all the teams, of course, they want because in in the early test they will have old tires with a new structure, new construction, and then they they have the first prototype tires and. Only the last prototype tires for, uh, in the end of the season. You know, they they will give you a good impression of uh, what to expect from uh, from next year's tires. So, of course, those teams testing tires for Pirelli, they want to have the test days in uh, as late as possible. You know, right. for for Mercedes or for Red Bull or who, who else is there, they don't want to test for Pirelli in August. They want to test for Pirelli in uh, in November when the when the tires are, are much more like next year's tires. So, I think they will we will connect. We can expect some some more discussions who. Who can test uh, test the latest and so, but yeah, it will be interesting. Very interesting. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. we we've been saying for a long time that I mean, from us as as fans as as third person viewers of the sport, it just seems that out of all the unprofessional behavior that there is up and down the paddock, it seems like only Pirelli is consistently the only the professional, professional or yeah. the most professional company in F one. <laughs> Cause you, yeah, you never catch them lying. You never catch them trying to stir up. Sh well, maybe once or twice <laughs> stir, to stir up some shit. But they just sort of come and show up, do their job that they were asked to do. Really, they were told to do make these tires so that they don't last. And yeah, <laughs> the problem. Yeah, if I, you look now compared yeah, to five years ago after the race, the marbles everywhere. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> they'd be sweeping for days after the, every race. 
To be, yeah, to be honest, I, I, I like Pirelli. I like like those guys from Pirelli. They're they're, 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 they're cool guys, you know, and and um, and, and they have a re really difficult job, you know, building those tires that that don't last, you know, and get yeah. get all the criticism for uh, tires that that you know that you have to go to the pits after 10, 10 laps, you know, and and to, we have to explain that. But yeah, that's what they were asked to, and I it's the only solution, you know. I know that drivers they want tires that. Uh, more or less last the whole race and you can go flat out uh, all the race you know and have fun with those tires you know like an endurance racing yeah. um, but on the other hand the tires have to be a bit more consistent you know they are um, they behave sometimes they behave strange and behind the scenes you know if you talk to drivers uh, they tell you a lot of them tell you they're not they're not that happy with Pirelli you know with the job Pirelli does uh, with the tires that from one set to another you you feel differences and in, in quality and yeah on, on some tracks you know in different uh, conditions with temperatures and stuff like that so um you will never hear them in public because you know if, if if a driver openly criticizes pirelli he he gets a, a date with the with the pirelli guys you know, and <laughs> has, to, has to explain like last year you know, after, the, after the spa accident and when when sebastian fettel was very open um openly criticizing them not only because of the puncture you know there was a big meeting with uh, with uh, bernie afterwards in the uh, next race in uh, in monza and uh, yeah the drivers basically they got told to shut their mouth you know mm -hmm. to be to be quiet and that not criticize the, <laughs> yeah. the, the, the tire supplier you know to if um, yeah. if you look on youtube you can see some videos in the pirelli factory they give you a tour how the tires are made by hand you see, yeah. you see the people that make them. You can see there's a lot of potential for every tire to be different <laughs> when you see how they do it. They just kind of have a big roll of rubber. And they just kind of yeah. like wrap wrap the rubber around the tire a few times, <laughs> cut it off. It's kind of like yeah, it could they, be a different thickness. Every tire could be a little one well, or two layers thick. A lot of those, yeah. The, a lot, a, a lot of the tire itself is basically handmade. Basically. Yeah, very yeah. almost bespoke. No, I, I, you know, I, I don't want to, to criticize it really. <laughs> we, no, we're not criticizing it. I love them. I do they're love them. You know, it's, it's just, uh, I'm um, just making a statement. No, we, <laughs> we, we heard uh, Roman Grosjean in, uh, in China uh, last week, you know, uh, criticizing the higher high tire pressure limits. Yeah. So, yeah. And that's, that's criticized by, by a lot of teams. You know, they, they think Pirelli is uh, too, safer than they, safe, yeah. than they should be. You know, but that, and, but that, was, that, that came from like, that was a directive from the FIA. They told Pirelli, from Vettel, like, you, yeah, yeah, like Spa last year. yeah, from Spa last year. They told them yeah, you have to no, be. The, the, they, they, yeah, they told him to to run their tires safely. But uh, Pirelli now says to run the tires tire safely, we have to uh, to increase tire pressures. The tire pressures are given by Pirelli and not by the FIA. The FIA just it's just right. it's just uh, controlling them. You know, they are checking the the cars if they are within the limits. Right. But Pirelli is giving the tire pressures and. You know, teams they are saying this. This is not what you know what we have built our cars for. You know, when we when we build the cars, we expected much, uh, much, uh, uh, yeah, less less tire pressure, so uh, pressure limits. So um, yeah, um, it it gets criticized a lot uh, by by engineers. Um, really is playing it too safe, you know, because they just want to pre prevent uh, any failures at all, and they should they should go go down again. That's that's. That's what's said, what's said by the engineers, but yeah, what can you say? Because it's another thing that fans will never see. You know, you, in the TV, you don't see if the if the tire if tire pressures are two or three psi higher or, or, or lower. You, you don't see that, yeah. but the, but the driver can feel it, and you can and you can also see that uh, on the lap time. You know, with with uh, less less tire pressures, uh, lap times would, would be even 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 better. You know, we saw in Bahrain already. Uh, a new lap record right, and yeah. that was amazing with, with, to see yeah with, with last year's cool tire to pressures see. engineers told me uh the, the lap time would be at least one second slow uh, uh, quicker you know? no so um yeah the high tire pressures are you know you just have less grip um, and for drivers it's, it's 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 very difficult to get used to and also for engineers yeah so Pirelli should Pirelli should be able to to build a tire that, that can cope with uh, with lower tire pressure pressures you know like like they did in uh, in, in in former seasons you know maybe yeah. for for 22 um, whatever for 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 tracks like Spa or, or Monza you can increase them but not for a track like uh, like China you should, then there should be another a better solution you know? well I guess because of the lead time and because everything's changing for next year you would don't expect them to fix it for 
the rest of the season, it's going to be high pressure. No, I, I yeah, think I think the rest this, of 2016. this year will stay more or less the same. Maybe if if they see um, the tires are looking good, maybe they they go a bit a bit more a bit more down. But yeah, I I don't know. But you can see with the with Sochi now with the tire uh, with the tire choice they have with the super soft soft and medium they are they again on the uh, conservative side. You know they could. You, you see, saw it last year. We had last year super soft and soft there, and uh, people were running a one-stop race easily. You know, doing more yeah. than forty laps on on a set of super soft. So they could, they, they normally you would say they should have brought uh, the the, the ultra soft. soft. You know, the, the new the new softer tire to to get us a bit more action. They just want to you know, save it for Monaco to be extra <laughs> cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know why they did it. You know, but. I expect a very boring race in, in terms of tires, at least, you know. What, for Russia? No. Nope. Yeah. For Russia, yeah. Because but hey, nobody, will, nobody, nobody will run the medium tire. You can no. see that from the tire selection, right. you know. I, I think only the, the Manor guys selected more than one one uh, medium set. <laughs> so yeah. yeah. No, no one will want, does want to uh, want to run the, uh, those tires. But how cool is it that we now have three compounds in the car? I mean, I know that this... this just a lot of people, a lot of like older fans, don't agree with this. They say that it's a bit too artificial, like DRS or whatever. But I, I for one, and we've been talking about this since last I year. I love it. More ti like more different, like more different compounds, means different, like different strategies that everybody can take, and that has already given us. Yeah. Uh, and I think that that more than more than DRS could have, more than uh, a shuffled qualifying could have. I think just introducing yeah. one more set of, of of new tires gave us more complex strategy during the race so far than we've seen yeah yeah that, that's definitely a good thing you know that we, we saw that from the from the first first race in australia already that that you can that we have a lot of different strategies as i said russia will be a bit different because because we won't see the those medium tires a lot unless but, it rains uh, the, <laughs> already 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 the first three races showed that, that this was definitely the right decision and with the with the with the elimination qualifying with you know with the first eight on on the softest tires uh with the the, the used tires it would have been probably even better but you know i can understand that we won't <laughs> that we don't want to have the those qualifying back but um yeah that, that this was definitely a good idea of course there are always those uh traditional formula one fans they say yeah we have we, they have to be boring races as well you know because like in football or soccer, uh, say or ice hockey, I don't know. You have you have boring matches as well, you know. Yeah. It's not yes. like not. And yeah. we saw yeah, MotoGP, sure. you know. I don't know if you follow that in MotoGP. We had a pretty boring race uh, last weekend. So it's not only Formula One. We have, but I think uh, from yeah from last year all the time we had one boring race. You know, hell broke loose and, and people were saying we need no we need new rules and, and new um, new stuff. You know, to to make it spicy again, more exciting. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's always with Formula One. I think it's a bit more special. People uh, expect more entertainment, more uh, yeah, don't know, you know, more action. Oh, they're, right. suppo they're supposed to be the Grand Prix, right? right. They're yeah. the, the greatest price, right? Yeah. Of of each country, yeah. it's supposed yeah. to be that. And we to a certain right? to a certain degree, I mean, I, in an in an ideal world, and I think this is what every 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 old school Formula One fan wants. F1 to go back to the heyday, but they just they, they don't know what they want about it, right? Because yeah. we can't we can't just go back and yeah. like have uh, the, the, the those silly cards with the skirts and the ground effect. We can't go back to that because no. engineers can't unlearn what they've already learned. No, right. The, the, yeah. the pro problem of the days Formula One is the you know is is that everything's perfect. You know there there are no mistakes. You know <laughs> if, you, if you remember the 80s or the, or the early 90s. Yeah. The cars broke down, engines broke down. You saw you saw drivers making much much more mistakes. You know, with with Michael Schumacher, you, yeah. there, there was this this uh, you know um, driver training got much more professional. You know, they 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 got fitter, they got physically fitter. They yeah. got um, they, uh, the the driver training the uh, in 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 younger years. You know, from mentally from fitter too. Yeah, everything everything is controlled now. Then yeah. yeah. Have, uh, the, the data uh, now nowadays, you know, that engineers can con control everything. Cars won't break down. They can test in the in the factory. They can test everything. So you don't see unexpected results on the track. Cars cars break down. Won't uh, will not break down unexpectedly. Drivers driver mistakes are much more um, much much more real. 
much much more rarely. I don't know. Rare, um, yeah, rare, it's rare. much more rare. Sorry, uh, it, yeah. it's it's it has to be uh, more boring, you know, nowadays. So you have to you have to find different things. Already in the in the early two thousands, you know, with the, with the Michael Schumacher days in in Germany, people if you ask people, ah, oh, we want those good old times with uh, Michael Schumacher back, you know, when when he was at Ferrari, it was exciting and all was good, and you know, and, and then I remember I remind them. Hey, the, the, those those races were really boring. I could I could I could I could, I could have told you who who will be world champion after the first practice in, in in Australia. You know, it was it was it was so boring. Races were were so dull. You know, you, no overtakings. Um, no. Driver on pole position was was winning the race, like with uh, with refueling. You know, if oh you my ask, God, refueling. <laughs> ask if you ask ask fans if you want refueling back. Oh, they'll say yeah. yes. They will say yes because they have those uh, explosions, you fire, know, those fire fires balls, in the pit lane yeah. in mind, and but all, that and only the, happened a couple times. Yeah, that only ca- happened a couple times. All, all those hoses, you know, they they got stuck in the car. And th- those it had happened, but you know, races were uh, really the races were boring in those days. Yeah, but, you you, you know, didn't over you you only overtook short, in the in the pits. Have a short memory, you know. Yeah. Like v- Vettel's overtook in the pits last week. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. <laughs> oh, but no, la- last week was, was an the highest race. overtakes in every ra- of every yeah. race. Oh, ra- races, races, races are, racing is, is, is good. And it's not just good this year. I, in my opinion, it was good uh, already since 2009. We, we could see with DRS and, and, uh, and Pirelli tires. It, it definitely got better than in the, in the years before. You, know? you can see it's a bit, a bit artificial and, and, and stuff like that. And, it, and it, it's not like drivers, you know, they, they get out of the car and you can see that they... They they hardly collapse because of the, the exhaustion, you know, and 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 they go flat out uh, um, every every corner, you know. But it's not you, you can you can't have that anymore in Formula One. People would 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 turn off the the TV even even more, you know, even even quicker if if you know before the start what will go with the what will be happening, you know. Because with the refueling, uh, the race is you have. Uh, much less fuel in in the car, much, yes. much less weight. So the car is much more like in qualifying. And uh, right. um, the, the 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 car on pole position will, is not only the, the fastest car in qualifying; it's also the fastest car in the race. So right. you don't have the two disciplines. So uh, nowadays, that there's the, the chance that that some, that something will will happen during the race is much higher. You know, than the cars have yeah. the cars in the, in the beginning of the race. They were they weigh they have 100 kilos of fuel on board. Mm-hmm. And and the, at the end of the race, uh, nearly nothing, you know. So the and you can't have a setup that's perfect for for every part of the race. And you can you have you, you see some cars are quicker in the beginning and some cars are better uh, in the end of the race. Especially you can single paddle like, clutch now too. Sorry, the single paddle clutch now as yeah. well affecting yeah. that. Yeah, it, it definitely helped. You know, it it, it got got a, got starts a bit more unpredictable. You know, it's everything that. Uh, uh, help this year, you know, with the tires and, and the clutch, and and yeah, we have to see. Um, I think the the the, the product the, the product that is Formula One, you know, the the um the, the the sport that it is today, the 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 racing that that it implies, the product that is F1 today is very good. Yes, it's it's right now we've been proven. It's, it's very very good, but I also don't disagree with you, Toby, that audiences will continue or at least recorded television audiences yeah. will continue to go down mm. yeah and yeah. that is the prime the the, the, the 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 primary motive of all this chaos that's happening at the top is because the the formula one model right now is built on television audiences purely and simple like you, you yeah. bernie bernie fom has he From distributes the yeah he distributes the, the feeds out and he lets the, the the broadcasters do the job, but these are TV broadcasters. That is something that worked before, and it's not working now. Because say say what you will, yes, the the measured television audience of Formula One will probably go down, even if this year, even if 2016 yeah. is the most exciting year in Formula One yeah. ever by everyone's recollection. Even if we will, television audiences will come down because television audiences are coming down in the world, as a, a, everywhere, in every single country that you measure. So now the question, like the the, the question becomes, does is F one equipped? Is is the governance of F one equipped to make the changes that it needs to to be sure that F one survives a post television world? And I think some people are disagreeing 
with Bernie right now at a very, very, very high level where he wants to take the sport versus where they want to take the sport. Mm. And one of the most vocal persons of that was Sergio Marchione, or is Sergio Marchione, chief yeah. of, uh, of Ferrari, chief of uh, Fiat Chrysler. And there was a very inter- interesting article written by your mentor, Michael Schmidt, <laughs> Uh, about how the, 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 the manufacturers want to see Bernie out by twenty yeah. by, by the end of by this, by the year. End of this like, year like this year wow. because wow. I think and then, and then when we were talking about this story is like I think that maybe right by now people have thought that people were thinking oh you know maybe one day Bernie will die but he's not dying <laughs> <laughs> probably not now not in the near future yeah. <laughs> so so I mean j- j- just for our listeners and our viewers here. Yeah. Um, because I thought that that article was very interesting. I only read it yeah. with Google Translate. I don't speak German at all. But <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. No, it's, it's no, but it, it it was very good. And I know that Michael Schmidt has has a very yeah. authoritative voice. He knows what he's talking about. Could you like, just take us through, like, what 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 does he mean? What what was uh, it, the gist? It, yeah, the, 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 it's it, the, this plan is definitely there. You know, they 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 um they ask or they will ask um, CVC, you know, um, to to get rid of Bernie by, by the end of the year. But <laughs> it's not it's not like they're worried about state of Formula One. You know, like like you know Bernie's talk talking bullshit or coming up with <laughs> stupid ideas <laughs> every two hours. It's uh it's 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 a bit more than that. It's 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 also, in case of Ferrari, it's all, it's also about this uh, EU thing, you know, this... Um, oh, yeah. Mar- um, Mar- Mar- yeah. Margaret Vestager, her yeah, department. This, this uh, competition <laughs> law investigation, you know, into Formula One. Really, it and seems like Bernie wants the EU commission to win now. Yeah. He that's, wants, he wants, Bernie wants right to lose now. against the EU commission. Yeah, he, wa- he, wa- yeah, he wants, he, he wants to lose. The, the, the problem, he, he will lose nothing, you know, it's, uh, it's just, uh, yeah. it's just an opportunity to, to rip up those, those contracts, you know, the Concord agreement the with Concord the teams, agreement, you know, yeah. cause yeah, he didn't realize that how, how powerful the manufacturers got, you know, how powerful the big teams got, you know, and you can't decide anything, you know, on your own, you, you and you know, you, you can't decide anything. Uh, full stop, you know, because because there are so many parties right now with this uh, um, strategy group and then the for- the Formula One Commission, you know, and just to get uh, uh, simple things through those two two um, um, yeah um, rounds of, of, of powerful people, it's it's just impossible to 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 make any any changes to Formula One, and he realized that, and 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 he sees this eu investigation as, as one opportunity to to get rid of the these contracts and 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 get rid of the concord agreement and and for himself you know to get in a more powerful powerful uh, position again to to make the changes that he thinks are necessary to get formula 1 on track again i don't know what kind of stuff he is in his mind again uh, to make <laughs> formula 1 more attractive or more uh, more entertaining for for viewers i have no idea what's going on in his mind but um yeah he he wants he wants those manufacturers to uh, yeah to, to become less powerful to to get those just these structures that he created himself you know he's yeah. he's only to blame himself and that's the and, point and, he made he this that. happen he did it himself yeah. and he sent he created a contract that lasts for 10 years yeah <laughs> that now <laughs> he wants to be to a bad idea but but, but, but he, he, here's the thing and, and this is something again that i'm taking from uh michael schmidt Mm-hmm. He, he, he said, and, and I agree 100% that this is just the mentality that the guy has. Michael Schmidt said that the way that Bernie likes it is if he's jumping from one problem to the other, to the other, to the other. That's how he runs his life. That's how he runs his business. He wants to be, he wants to be putting out fires. That's how he knows how to, because he thinks that if he want, if he can make a deal here and a deal there and like backstab you here, offer money to you there, you can solve all the problems. But really, you're not solving the problems. You're just creating more problems for the future. Yeah, it, it, but you know, if you if you if, if 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 there's like a dictatorship, you know, with Bernie and <laughs> he, he's he's deciding anything here, and then he, he sees oh, it's it was the wrong decision, and then you know, next race he will have another decision. We had that, you know, in in former years, you know, when there, we had this this qualifying uh, discussion already, I think, 15 years ago or something like 2006. that. 2006. They tried out. Yeah, uh, yeah. Well, ten years ago, they they tried out different things, you know. In, in within two or three years, they tried out I don't know three oh, yeah. or four modes of qualifying, you know. And then they changed anything, you know, with refueling and stuff like that. Every every season, you had some <laughs> some new uh, big regulation changes, you know. And yeah, yeah. but you, I, those I were know the max mostly days, so. 
Yeah, but Bernie got gets criticized a lot, but you know he he really he built this this Formula One you know from really from scratch and made it a, a worldwide professional sport. So you it's not just you, you you if you look back at him you 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 just can't see this this old man you know that has once and there a, a stupid a stupid idea about racing you know like. Um, watering the track or make uh, shortcuts for, for drivers <laughs> to get overtaking a bit easier. <laughs> he's, you know, he's, he, he did a lot for the for, for, for Formula One, and, and um, you, you have to you have to appreciate that as well. You know. Oh no, one hundred. So. Yeah, Bernie took the sport from the mess that it was. It was uh, each each country You're, where they went to. Had, had of it course, he was, look, he was looking after himself as yeah. well, uh, yeah. too, you know, with the, oh, with yeah. the money, <laughs> making, I, oh, making a lot of money for himself. But, you know, um, all the teams are making much more money nowadays than they did uh, 40, 50 years ago. And the attention worldwide is, is much higher now. And the, the professionalism is, is much, much, much better. But, of course, you know, nowadays Formula One maybe uh, needs, needs, uh, needs a different kind of governance. You know, we saw that. Um, we heard the drivers with their with their letter, you know. Oh I'm not sure if that's the right way, because what I hear is that drivers also want to want to have a seat on that's that's their the master plan, you know. They want a seat on the what on the, the World Motorsport t- Council, table, you know. What, do they want a seat at the mo- at, at the World Motorsport oh, Council or or the strategy group? No, at, at least in the Formula One Commission. Okay. And yeah. but the Formula One so Commission can this... they can't they can't make any changes. They can only approve him or no. not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, preferable they want to want to see it in the strategy group, of course. You know that's where the <laughs> that's where the, the where, where the big decisions are made. The the, the 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 uh, the Piranha yeah. Club. Yeah, I, I yeah I, I I'm not sure. You know, it's already too hard to have the the manufacturers and the smaller teams in uh, you know in in one group, and now you have the drivers and you know. Do it's, you it's, do you know like have have you spoken like personally? I'm sure you have with with Alex Verse like Alex Verse. He will, yeah. what 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 kind of guy like what kind of a guy is he? Because I've seen from many reports is that he he's very political and he yeah. he, he he maybe he has a direction that he likes things to go and he's gonna fight for that. Yeah, I, I last talked to him in in, in during a testing about those kind of, uh, Halo stuff. You know, not about the. The last uh, the, the, the letter they send out us, but there 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 are people in the paddock. They believe he wants to become the next uh, next uh, Jean Todt. You know he wants really, to get, uh, you know in the he wants to step higher on the political uh, stage. You know, but I don't know. You know, really he's uh, he was a good racer. He's a, he's a nice guy actually. You know, but yeah. and and you can see you know he's he's he's. Uh, Looking after the the interests of the drivers very much, you can you can see that in you know in former years the the, uh, um, the GDPA was just uh, uh, GPDA was just uh, you know it was maybe non-existing you know they they met once in a time uh, here and there but but you, you hardly uh, they only, well they noticed, they, they never they never did political and, stuff and they only with, did safety stuff Alex right Wolf, yeah. With Alex Woods, they're much more outspoken. You know, you, you see, they, they they might have a strategy, and, and 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 they want to voice their opinion much louder. So um, yeah, and and that's 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 the right they have. You know, because they are the, the the main attraction. You know, in the, in the Formula One race, the drivers are very important, of course, and and they need to be heard. I don't know if they're if it's a good idea to have to have them be a part of the decision process because I think we already have have enough parties involved in that. But yeah. um, of course, you know, it's it's a good right. It, it's their right, you know, to, to voice their opinion and and, uh, and and to criticize what's going on in Formula One. But I, I, I haven't heard, to be honest, I haven't heard any, uh, you know, constructive solutions um, apart from, you know, the qualifying to go back to last year's qualifying. Okay. And, but I, I don't have heard any kind of master plan, you know, what, what do we have to do to, to improve racing again? Because I heard last year there was this uh, demand for uh, more downforce. They, they, you know, they want to have those uh, V10 era back, you know, those, those crazy cars, you know, where you really have to fight and, and you know, driving like on rails, you know. And, yeah. and, that, and, now, and now, now they say we want to have less aero downforce, we want more mechanical grip, you know, to, 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 uh, to fight the cars more. And, and you know, so um, I think drivers, they are not... Uh, they're not they're not they don't have a form the one opinion and you know about what what they really want to have you know so um we have to wait in which direction this one this goes but yeah you have you have to um yeah, to to 
to respect what they say and we have to respect Alex's words. I heard he was very unhappy about uh, Charlie Whiting, you know, when Charlie was uh, saying that drivers are not involved enough in, in, uh, in those uh, uh, rulemaking process. Yeah. They have a lot of opinions, you know, in, uh, in those uh, working groups, uh, yeah. sporting working groups, technical working groups. There's always a, like, like, a, like a seat, you know, for the drivers if they want to come to join. Or uh, they can they can come to him during race weekends in his office. They can come. They can voice their opinion during those uh, driver briefings on Friday Friday evening in the paddock. They can as, tell their, as Senna uh, used to do. Yeah, they can <laughs> <laughs> about other topics, but mainly not not about uh, uh, how to make uh, the, the racing more entertaining. <laughs> but, but they can they can also go to their to their team principles team principles and say hey we we drivers want you to to vote in a different way you know uh, in the next uh, strategy group meeting and build pressures there so there are different different ways for drivers already you know to to voice their opinion and and and, and you know uh, be active on the on the political stage and charlie whiting was criticizing that they, they you know they they in, a, in 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 recent years they they just didn't take this uh, this uh, this chance, you know, to be be, be more involved. So, uh, and I heard Alex Woods was, was was not happy, you know, with Charlie, you know, criticizing the drivers here. I, I but I don't know if uh, you know what uh, what is uh, what's right and what's wrong. If if drivers, you know, if they were involved or not. I just heard there was this invitation by uh, by Jean Todt during the winter break mm -hmm. in Monaco, and he invited all the drivers, you know, to have a get together with all the drivers in Monaco. And in the end, only two drivers showed up. So um, you know, and now they say that they're not being heard. You know, it's a bit, uh, it's a bit tricky there. So um, yeah, let's let's wait and see if the if if drivers put more pressure, more pressure on 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 Bernie and the FIA and and maybe also their teams. You know, if 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 nothing changes, you know, on top. I don't know what if if they're really going on on a strike or you know threaten any uh, to do anything else. I don't know if they have the balls to to pull it through. <laughs> No, no, they don't. They depend too much on their commercial contracts. They want to. Yeah. They, of course not. Maybe, the, the drivers, maybe button. That's nah, it. They, yeah, the drivers are not gonna strike. Yeah, maybe, maybe the old guys like button. Yeah, yeah. yeah I can, I can see but, button, Kimi and Alonso not showing up for something. But no, nah, not even Alonso. Yeah, we, He'd run a we, we had that drive. before, and you know, in the I don't know seventies or eighties, yeah. you know, when some drivers wanted to strike, and you know, they were always, you know, from the smaller teams, you know, they. Uh, you know, like pay drivers or something that they, they were told to drive and then they had to drive. You know? Yeah. So uh, to, to, yeah. to get all 22 drivers together and, and uh, you know, to, to to form a union, you know, so for something like that, it's 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 very hard. But, you know, I, let, let's see. That Maybe they surprise us. We saw them in their, with their dinner, you know, with their... Yeah, 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 yeah. Shanghai. Yeah. But after at, the... At, know, at, but after, at after the kitchen. The racing, Have you been to the kitchen? Did you go to that restaurant that that, that, that no. they were at? It's called The Kitchen in, in Shanghai. It's it's, it's a, this Italian restaurant. Oh, it's I, supposed to be pretty I, good. I, all the time I went to Shanghai, I tried to stay as close to my hotel as possible, you know. And, <laughs> was was was, <laughs> was the was the air quality better in your hotel? Uh, no, but uh, the you know the traffic's always uh, terrible. You know to go outside True. and yeah, taxi yeah. drivers, you yeah. know they don't understand English and they. they <laughs> The, the problem is if they drive you, if they drive you to a, a certain direction, you know, and you want you find another driver to to get you back to your hotel, you know, you don't, you never get back to your hotel because they they don't know where your hotel is, you know. So <laughs> you, you you better go to some restaurants they where can where you can walk to uh, the next uh, restaurants and not not go too far away. <laughs> how's 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 the how's the pop? Oh, well, actually, I guess you wouldn't know. You wouldn't know how the public transit system works in Shanghai at all, because I know that they had some. They apparently had some metro lines that only work yeah. to the track, but they don't work any other time of the year. It's just for the F1 weekend. Uh, no, to, to be honest, we all um, uh, in, in, in last years when I was there, we always had a, had a, a hotel that was close to uh, to the, the city center, and we always had a shuttle driver, you know, that that brought us yeah. every day to Video the track shuttle. and collect us there. Yeah. So and but now my 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 uh, my colleague that was uh, there. What uh, what's his he, name? He, he, Andrew something. Andreas Hopped. Andreas Hopped. Uh, yeah, yeah. Or, Follow him on Twitter if you're listening to this. Yeah. Andreas Hopped on Twitter. Yeah, on the, he's there <laughs> for the website. He's doing I don't know I think uh, eight races this year. So oh, he's uh, nearly as much as I. So we split it more or less in half. You know. Yeah. Then we have another colleague. She's a girl, but she's only doing three races. But she's also very nice. <laughs> 
yeah so we are we are splitting the those races because we all we also have to do uh, other races like formula e and endurance stuff and, and and german endurance race german enduring racing so endurance racing so um, yeah to do all the races so we need a, at least one of you at each race yeah at least where yeah. do, 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 do you, have you gotten into formula e have you been following formula e uh, only, only on the uh, on television. To be honest, I now will go to the to the German Formula E race or to to see it in in person. I have to say, I'm not from from what I saw on television. I'm not much of a fan, you know. <laughs> um, but maybe it will change, you know, to, if I see them up close. It seems no in idea. the next no, no idea. It seems but, in the next couple of years. Every year they're gonna slowly open the. Uh, yeah. they, they started yeah. almost all the same car, and every year they're sort of opening the rules up for allow each team to how, build, how build more parts themselves how refreshing is that to see is 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 a, a fia sanctioned formula that their whole deal is that they're going to open the regulation more is it is isn't that like <laughs> come on that should be the future of f1 why are they we, we talked about we talked yeah. and, and same, people talk about the it. way the robo race is going to go yeah it's, it's going to be way. more gonna start closed more and more open open up, open open, open, open. Up like is is that not what like what why all this over regulation uh, yeah, in Formula well, One, look you at have Formula to, yeah, fifty you know, years if, from now. If you if you <laughs> let them do what what they like, you know, they uh, engine it, um, it will become too expensive, you know. And if if, the, if you give engineers too much freedom, you know, to invent certain stuff, you know, the bigger teams teams with more money will always win. Yep. I I don't know if we want to see that. True. You know, I I don't know. There's you know there are, there's always two sides of this. But this but thing, you know, but in the seventies in the seventies Ferrari had better facilities and and more and more money than any other team. And yeah. still, um, Collins with if, with Lotus came and kicked yeah. their ass. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. But then this was the seventies. You know, nowadays True. we have computers, computers and wind tunnels, yeah. and you, Google. They, you, you know, you know, you saw the <laughs> you saw uh, the the last good ideas like like the uh, the double diffuser or the blown diffuser or mm. the, they were all aero the stuff, stuff like that. You know, um, it, it's it's now a couple of couple of years ago. You know, we saw those kind of things. You know, in 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 like like last year or this year we you don't see those crazy solutions anymore no. those those in, inventive stuff that could make really make a difference you know cars, yeah. uh, stuck. cars stuck. more or less look like same and i don't think it's it's because of the regulations it's because you know they all have the, the same the same tools you know like uh, cfd and, and and wind tunnels and you know it's just it's just like that you know you can't you, you can't reinvent the wheel you know it's, uh, <laughs> it's true yeah, yeah. I, I would I would like to have cars to look a li little bit more uh, more different, you know, um, with the with the regulation that were proposed, you know, for for us for next year uh, by Red Bull, we we might we we, we could have maybe we could have seen that, you know, because there were um, on the floor they had some uh, some some more freedom, you know, to uh, to to um, to shape the floor in in different ways, but yeah, with the latest compromise, we they got rid of that as well, so. Probably yeah, I, I had a question. I, I was wondering what your thoughts on on the sort of the future of the design of these cars, because there's a lot of talk about going back to the good old days and that sort of you know, these larger rear uh, engines, uh, larger tires, larger back wing or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. But I mean, wider. that that yeah, wider, wider century. But what about the philosophy that like to move the sport forward, you should sort of be looking ahead with technology as opposed to sort of looking back with nostalgia being like, no, yeah. this is what we need to do. Cause like I'm new to Formula One, but I want to see like a sci-fi looking Formula yeah. One car. But I'm not sure where that that fits into that. I don't think it's going to happen, but I'd like it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I I I too I think Formula One has to has to change uh, the shape of the cars. You know, um, cars. In my, it's just a personal opinion. You know, maybe yeah. there are some fans out there they they love those cars how they are. You know, right, like right. But I think cars are if you see them in in person and if you compare them to to cars from from past eras, they are so long nowadays. You you, you won't you won't believe it. You know, cars are I don't know five meters long. They are really long and and, and <laughs> yeah. slim. So you need to get the cars you know back to uh, to get them shorter and wider to make them look more aggressive and mm. and then. I, I don't know if you saw last year's the uh, Ferrari's concept car for the future, you know, which, yes. yeah. which, wow, which yeah. was was a bit futuristic, you know, with the, yeah. you know, the, the the wheel covers and stuff like that. 
you have to find a, a good balance, you know, because every rule change makes develop the development um, more expensive for the smaller teams, you know. Right. right. Uh, maybe you have to find different solutions to get, to get a more health, healthy Formula One first, and then reshape, make make a big revolution, you know. You have what, what's clear. You have to make the engines uh, cheaper, you know. Mm -hmm. have a, you have to find a cheaper engine uh, formula. Get rid. You have you, you can have the hybrid hybrid engines, but you know those MGUH stuff and and, and this complicated yeah. complicated engines. It's 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 just a bit too much. And hence, but Toby, Toby, you know, won't get anything out of it. Toby, how 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 easy wouldn't it be? You know, like if if <laughs> if I was Mister FIA or Mister Formula yeah. One Strategy Group, how easy would it just be to just just to say, hey, listen, you know what? Forget forget all this MGU this MGU that forget all these regulations. What we want, like you know, the 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 overall thrust for that when it was proposed by originally um, uh, by Max Mosley and then it carried on to to Jean Todt is to make an engine that would be more efficient so that it would be relevant for road car technology. So why don't we just say, listen, why why isn't the rule that you have to have an engine? That is at least forty percent thermal efficient, at least, and it costs, you know, this much, whatever, twelve million bucks, twenty-five million bucks, however much it is. Set it at a price and at a minimum thermal efficiency, so that yeah. this year's engines will still fit the budget, will still fit the requirements. But then there's more room for, I don't know, to put a jet turbine into one engine, you know, whoever, like wh <laughs> whatever gets the job done of being at least forty percent efficient, if not more. What's yeah. stopping that? Yeah. I don't know if you can you can achieve the the forty uh, the efficiency goal goals with you know with a simple kind of solution you know for <laughs> I don't know, 10, 10 million euros or something like that. But you, you could you know you can you can have hybrid cars you know uh, hybrid engines you know in with maybe like standard cars you know just to say hey look we are doing here something you know with batteries and future technology you know it doesn't have to be this mguh stuff which is really crazy you know and until you find something like that on road cars you know you will have, have to wait 10 or 20 years you know at least or you will never see that because it's just too too expensive for normal road cars but the the thing with the price price tag that's uh, yeah that, that that definitely was a was a, was a fault a mistake by uh, by the fia and john todd admitted that they should have uh, given the, the manufacturers a price tag to uh, to say that the engine uh, that there has to be a limit on that, uh, maybe 12 or 10, 10 millions, you know, and then Mercedes still could have gone on, gone on and, and developed yeah, their engine for 200, 300 million, you know, yeah. and, but they, they lose, they, 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 it would have clear they, they lose money, you know, if they uh, um, invest too much money in, in that develop, uh, in the uh, development process. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but that that's clear that and and that will be the future and I, and I think that this will go through this week uh, uh, for the 2018 engine. So the the price tag will definitely go through and we will, I think it will stay there for the future. Nice. The problem is that we that we won't have the you know that the, the engines are still too complicated till 2020. Yeah. And um, so that we won't see any other manufacturer come in, uh, come in Formula One and 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 you know so teams like Red Bull you know they can choose. Uh, and a manufacturer that's like equi equi uh, capable of building a, a, a good engine, you know. But the engines, uh, the engines will be more equal, you know. Uh, by the end of this year, at least, you know, yeah. we will we won't see that big gaps between the engines like we have seen in uh, in, in last year or still now. Uh, in in Canada, we will have the the big Renault uh, upgrade. Wait, wait, wait. Where, where? <laughs> in, uh, Montreal. Yeah. That's Montreal. And the Canadian yeah, Grand Prix. At, at least, at least this is this is what's announced, you know. And uh, with Renault, we we got we got some disappointments in in recent years, but you know, I, oh, you, uh, you, you mean Tag Heuer? Everyone you, everyone you talk to, they 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 still they're, they're pretty confident and and they they have high hopes in these engines. It's thirty five horsepower. I heard it's the increase, but it's not only the power increase; it's also the drivability should improve a, a lot there. So I think, uh, yeah, you can you can expect from Red Bull uh, a lot from Red Bull after that one, if the if the engines are reliable. So you have to be you have to be a bit uh, more careful with that. But yeah, it, it goes goes in the right direction, and I think in by the, the engines will will be much closer, and maybe it will not be so much a, a so big a, a talking point like it's it, it's now, you know. Yeah, we'll see. It should be exciting for us. That should be exciting. Yeah. Okay, wait, wait, hang on a second. So 
I, I know that like up and <laughs> everybody knows that the Red Bull has a, a Renault engine. Everybody does, but they're still calling it a Tag Heuer, this and that. What it is? Is there an actual difference uh, in between the Renault engine and 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 the the Tag Heuer engine? They, they get like as as soon as Renault the works teams gets a new update, you know, in tokens of the um, of the power unit, uh, Red Bull gets it too, right? Is that, is that yeah. how it works? Yeah. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, they, they, there's no there's no uh, uh, separate development. You know, they, the car, the, the, the engines have to stay the same. It, it, it can happen. It can occur like last year with Mercedes that they have an upgrade for, for the engines and then and they test it first with the works team or they test it first first on Red Bull team. You know, you, you don't know if, if they're um, in the, in the uh, process in the, in the process of, of manufacturing the upgrade parts, you know, if they can't uh, make make enough parts for for all four cars. You know, they they might say yeah, we we just try them out with with the with the Renault cars and then Red Bull gets them on uh, on the next race. You know, okay. that can happen. We saw that last year with with Mercedes. But it, you will never see that uh, uh, Renault will uh, upgrade the turbos now and then you see Red Bull upgrade. I I, I don't know the uh, another part of the engine. You know, it's it's not allowed. The okay. the, the development of of the engine has to be. The same, you know, different different uh, stages of of development uh, are allowed, but uh, after 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 Re Renault got gets the first upgrade, uh, Red Bull has to get the same upgrade, you know, not okay. a different one, you know. So okay. uh, they, they 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 will, and I, I don't think uh, Renault will uh, um, will have will have delayed upgrades for for Red Bull here, you know. They they got criticized a lot la in last years, you know. <laughs> And, and they can you can clearly see it, which which is the better car and they yeah. even even if there's the Takoyer Takoyer badge on 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 the side of the engine, um, you know they they still want everyone knows that, that there's a, Ren a Renault yeah. under the bonnet, yeah. and they will uh, um, they will do anything to to make the car quicker, uh, Renault and and what I've heard the the relationship between uh, the Red Bull guys you know and Renault guys it, you know it's it got got really. Uh, improved a lot, you know, from the beginning of the season, and and Red uh, Red Bull saw that they, they recognized that Renault is doing a lot, you know, with now with in, increased increased uh, budgets and and um, yeah m more structured uh, um, factory development, you know, stuff like that. Um, you can you, and we all expect to have uh, uh, big 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 improvements at at Renault. Uh, coming this year and and uh, for next year, also with Mario Elian, you know, yeah. helping them, mm -hmm. helping them a lot in in different areas. So yeah, I think you can expect a lot from you. Maybe already this season, you know, in in later stages stages of the season, because you saw that in 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 China with the Red Bull car, you know, mm. um, they um, they 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 got rid of the arrow, you know, they they put twenty percent less downforce on the car uh, as they would have run normally, you know, just to just to, to get uh, on par uh, in top speed, uh, top speed wise, you know, with yeah. the other cars, and they were still the quickest in the corner. So <laughs> you know, it just when they have the power, you know, the right power uh, yeah. uh, on the on the straights, and then can they can run the downforce they have on the car, they will be really quick. You know. Well, that's why Ferrari didn't want to <laughs> give them the, uh, the, yeah. the 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 current engine. And hey, Mercedes too. But but, but you will. know, but Ferrari has also great potential with the engine. You know, I I, I think we wrote that in. Uh, in Bahrain already, or before Bahrain, yeah. uh, their turbo issue. You know, they have uh, they realized during testing or during the first race that they they built actually they built a good uh, good combustion engine. You know, that can can take a lot of that that needs a lot of air or can take a lot of air. You know, to to, to give a lot of power. Yeah. And now they realize the turbo is not capable of getting enough air to the engine and get enough power to the MGUH. So they. They have they had to modify the uh, the turbo, and and then they and but even with the you know uh, and they couldn't get uh, enough power for the end uh, for the end of the straight you know they had they could only boost the MGOH in in race mode until you know half half of the straight and then the car would not accelerate anymore you can see clear that see see clear see that clearly on the GPS measurements you know all the teams could see that and and. Uh, if they when they solve this problem, I don't know what the uh, I heard they they will or they already um, uh, used in the first tokens now for uh, for for Russia. I don't know if that's for the turbo or for for another part um, to solve this problem. But you know if they solve this, they could easily jump jump ahead half a second uh, per lap and yeah. 
with 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 just, with just you know this one modification. <laughs> and so Ferrari fans, uh, can, they can look forward to. It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think I, I mean I, any anything that adds like more excitement to to the to the top end of the, of the grid because yeah. the middle yeah. there's enough action in the middle already. I mean, yeah. come on, yeah. there's a lot yeah. of action. But if there's action at the front and the middle, that'll yeah. be amazing. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. But we haven't seen we haven't seen yet what what Mercedes is capable of. You know, they they we we saw it with Lewis in you know trying to to, to get to the front <laughs> after bad starts or other other incidents. But with Nico Rosberg, you know, he was just in uh, on three uh, all the three races he was just in cruise mode. You know, yeah, uh, he he he, he, he hadn't showed us anything. You know, so I don't know what what Mercedes is. You know, what what they have in in the still in the pocket. You know, um, if if Ferrari really starts uh, the challenge then. come on you guys yeah. you guys you guys are very like you, you you're very close to mercedes you're in stuttgart <laughs> there what's what's the word in town they still have more performance right they still have more power than they've shown yeah you can uh, every time you know like in, in bahrain during qualifying you know every time ferrari got a bit closer you know you can see with the next run you know yeah, yeah something like they switched you know a, a different engine mode you know, a bit higher and then they, they got the half, the half second back the half second gap back in place you know but i'm um, um uh, engineers are looking very confident and but they always won you know won ferrari's getting closer getting closer but they did it last uh, two years already you know <laughs> and you get a bit tired of all, all those warnings you know with ferrari and you don't believe them anymore <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah but yeah. but i would i would love to see uh, ferrari back in the back in the uh, in the hunt you know back really challenging them and also red bull of course you, the more the better you know it's it's really yeah, yeah. At least it's it's not like not not that I'm uh, you know I'm German and a fan of Nico Rosberg, but it's already good that that we have an, a, a different winner, you know, not like not true, the same winner, like yeah. not, not like it was, if it, if if Nico would have won last two years and now it was it would have been Lewis Hamilton, I would have the said same. the same, you know. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's true. Yeah, that was something I wanted to ask you actually is how big of a Nico Rosberg fan you were. <laughs> I, I like him from you know I like in you know from from a professional point you know he's a bit uh, he's also a bit cautious you know in interviews you know trying, yeah. uh, like when he was at Williams you know he was uh, he was uh, and he and he admitted it he was much more outspoken you know he, I remember it was 2009 it was my first year in Formula One all the time he came to the paddock I asked him and Nico um, where where are you gonna end on Sunday and it was on Thursday and he said ah. Oh, this race was look good, looks good, and I will, I will, I, I, I feel I will go on the podium, you know. And it was when it was when Williams was, you know, like maybe it was top top ten, but he most <laughs> finished most places between I don't know uh, eight and fourteen, you know. And <laughs> yeah. oh, this race, I really feel like going on the podium, you know? and, and you're not, you're like, oh, you're oh, very okay. optimistic, you know. And you, and you could write that, and you had some had a good quote here and there, you know. And then when he got to Mercedes, you know, he was a bit more, you know, uh, getting better. He said, yeah, I'm working for a big comp uh, company now, big, like Mercedes, you know, you have to be a bit more careful what you say. So for, uh, from a professional standpoint, you have to like Lewis a bit more, you know, because he, he just says what, what, he, what he thinks, you know, and, uh, does, does what he wants. And so uh, you have to, he, he from, from uh, as a journalist, you know, you, you, you normally you need more more people like like Lewis Hamilton because, yeah, because much absolutely. much more stories emerge from uh, come out of, come out of people like that you know generating doing quotes snap, as you're saying and and doing doing stupid things from here and there you know but you have to like it you know it's, yeah of course I will I will, ne I will never criticize him for doing stupid things you know it's always it's it's maybe it's not my lifestyle and I would maybe do it differently <laughs> but you know you have to admire it, uh, his openness and 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 how how he gives fans insight into his life you know. And he does, you know, if if you see him partying stuff like that, you know, in uh, thirty years ago with uh, James Hunt or in, in the seventies with James Hunt, you know, now all all people uh, are glorifying those days, you know, with James. Oh, they were smoking on the grid, and you know, they were partying and yeah. women and, and and stuff like that, you know. And now Lewis Hamilton, you know, he gets criticized for 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 doing similar things, you know, uh, right. not yeah. care. He's not. He doesn't care about what people think, you know, and, and doing his own thing. So um, I will not criticize him ever for for stuff like that, and mm. I just I just appreciate how how open he is. How open he is. Any race that you're looking for? Well, actually, hang on a second, because mm -hmm. I, I want to just bring something up about a race that I'm sure you're looking forward to, uh, because we talked about it. Is and I'm sure you're going. I don't know. I think you're going, Baku. 
Yes, Baku, I'm going, yeah. Uh, are you, I'm are you, always I'm going to the, to, if there's a, a race on the calendar for the first time. Do you do you go around the, the auto motor sport office and say like, mm, what new race can I go to? I'll take that one. I'll take that one. Yeah, <laughs> we, yeah we're always doing, you know, we're doing is uh, doing the, calen the calendar together, you know, um, yeah. uh, choosing the races because <laughs> there's always, there's a Le Mans on the, on the same day. So, yeah. um, and right. To be honest, I I don't like those twenty four hour races, uh, so I uh, I'd, I'd rather choose 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 other races. It's the uh, same with uh, with uh, Monaco. On the same day, there's the the biggest uh, twenty four hour race in Germany, and I have my I have my colleague like Andreas Haupt. You know, he's always he's always going to that race, and he knows the people there. Because I, I don't know anybody there. You Is know, that those, a, the uh, Nurburgring. Yeah, on the Nurburgring, yeah, yeah. The, the GT race on the Nurburgring, and. It's it's so different to Formula One, you know. If you get used to uh, the access to the people, you know, and those, you know, it looks it's it's much more familiar, you know, those paddock, and you have to know those people very good, you know, and and there are much more cars, you know. If if you're not used oh, to it, yeah. you, you you get lost. I was there two Multiple times. You know, and I said, How can you work in this environment? You know, you have to really, really, it's it's so so different from Formula One. So I, I prefer going to the Formula One races and uh, let let the other guys go to. Go go to those races, you know, like like Le Mans and, and the twenty four hour race on the on the Nurburgring. Sure. I will do the Formula E race in in Berlin instead. So sure. maybe that, that's that's a nice. Uh, what are you, what are you really thinking about Baku though? Because I feel like yeah. a lot of people are uh, just criticizing it or think the track is gonna be shit or this this well, con this country doesn't like racing or it's no, just no, kind he, of stupid criticisms he, that he, 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 here's here's what a lot of like western media are saying the, the, is uh, they're saying oh the, this country they're not even in Europe why are they hosting the european yeah, grand prix that... this this country they're more aligned with the views of russia why are we supporting this <laughs> but anyways i i just want to say i'm, I'm excited yeah, I'm excited <laughs> yeah, too. I'm I, I, want to I, I'm I like always the, I like the track. To a new good. place, you know. Maybe after a few, even before my first China race, of course, I was excited. Or or, or Russia, you know. It's it's always good to good to go to a new country, and and you, you shouldn't go there with you know with something in mind that people yeah. won't probably what they won't like it or, or it's not, they don't have tradition. Of course, we have to that that. That's out of the question, you know. We have to keep like races like Monza and Monaco and and Silverstone, you know, those those traditional races. We, we, we you know, that it's, it's yeah, that it wouldn't be Formula One without out, out those races. You, you you cannot just go to Baku and and China and I don't know where, you know. You have you have to keep those Brazil, Australia, those countries, you know, that that have ever been uh, in in Formula One. But you know, once once in a while, you know, why not try uh, try those. Try those new new venues like like last year with Mexico, you know the yeah the, the, the fan the fans How good was that? the atmosphere was great, you know it was it was a big party. Wait, you know, were you the, there? The, the, yeah, yeah. Of course, How cool was that? It was, yeah, it was a great event. You know, it was. I, I can only say good things about that. Apart from the overcrowded uh, uh, trains, you know, to the track, they were they were <laughs> terrible. But uh, but the race, the race, the track. Also, the track was you know with the stadium section. And stuff. Yeah. Yeah. But coming back to Baku, you know, the 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 track. It's actually it look look looks pretty cool. You know, it it's definitely yeah. definitely it's something different. You know, from what we what we uh, had in in recent years. You know, there's this the longest trade on the on the on the calendar. Yeah. The longest trade we have right now. This, this, and then we have the the, the section the, uh, around this around the the, the old town, you know, of, of the Parkway. narrowest section on the circuit. Yeah, the, 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 the narrow, yeah, there. it looks it looks crazy, you know. It looks <laughs> like yeah, it looks, big. They have a big hill there as well as a big big yeah, elevation. Goes, yeah, it goes up and down the ocean. Yeah, yeah. Would, yeah. I told I told I, I talked to to Hermann Thielke, you know, who was oh yeah, the, the designer, the the, 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 the the build, you know, they they have to pave the there's uh, how you say do you say cobblestone? cobblestone yes. Yeah. The, the yeah. stones on yeah, the track, they have to, 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 to put tarmac on, on that and then they have to, after the race, they have to remove everything. And we were, next year just before had, we talked to you, we were looking at that on YouTube. They put down like a wood, like wooden panels underneath or oh, they're like a yeah. fiber panels, I guess. And then they paved over that. Yeah. No, actually, yeah. that that was one of our questions for a long time, like whether whether or not they're gonna. So they are gonna remove all the tarmac after. Yeah. 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 Wow. All the and then yeah, repave the, next year. Of course, there there were road sections, you know, public roads. Yeah. And yeah. Then they 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 put new tarmac on there, and then it, it will stay obviously. But the cobblestone. But also all, the, all yeah, and then like with the cobblestone, they will remove remove it. At least that's, that's hundreds that's of I, years that's, old. That's, that's crazy, man. That's a huge huge project. 
Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and also with the grandstands, all the grandstands and the, 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 the pit building and everything will be will be just uh, it will be built for the yep. race and then it will be removed afterwards you know is that the, is that the way like, for the, of the like future thinking. is that is that the way of the future for f1 because a lot of people have been talking about how maybe temporary tracks are the way to go that's what bernie even because said. no because nobody can afford to have a permanent facility anymore not even the states the, like like yeah. circuit of the americas is in trouble 400 something million dollars yeah, to, to build the track. Me, it depends on the country, you know. With some, with uh, with some tracks in some countries, you probably can do it, and, and in other countries, maybe there's. You have from from a, from, a uh, from the fan point of view, you have to good, have to have a good mix, you know. You, do, yeah. you just can't have all all street races, and you don't have to, or just just normal uh, circuit races, you know. When, I want to see a bit more more variety. Mix, yeah. When are we gonna go back to the notch life? Yeah, because it's it's been imagine yeah. building that today. It's yeah, be, it's been maintained almost a hundred years now. But to build that today would be maybe a billion dollars. Maybe more. <laughs> Twenty four yeah, kilometers. It's, it's, it's just not possible, you know. All the ev uh, elevations and uh, you don't have runoff areas, you know. Unfortunately, you can't even. It's still very even, dangerous. Uh, even no. if you do uh, show runs, you know. Uh, I, I think there was BMW was doing one ten years ago, something like that. You know, Nick Heidfeld was running felt, on the yeah. Life. They had to. Uh, put the suspension you know the, it's very the, high up yeah very high up there yeah, and, and everything you know so the car was a bit undrivable and uh, you know they have so it's the the, 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 the tight corners and and stuff like that blind blind corners and it's on my bucket rough, list rough, to go drive a lap carous carousel like have you driven a lap yourself have you been yeah. there what's what's the fastest you've done on on, on the north <laughs> the north life <laughs> You, you broke in seven yeah, minutes. I, I haven't driven my, myself, you know, being on the wheel, but I, I, I drove with Adrian Sutil, you know. Oh yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. With oh, his, wow. he had a Porsche GT2, nice. uh, 620 oh, wow. horsepower. I'm jealous. I've, 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 I've driven lab with him, and it was just crazy, really crazy, because he was, you know, <laughs> Do like. Do you feel like you were gonna sunk. die? Like a, yeah, you know, he was sunk, like a roller coaster. On, you know, uh, short, short trousers, you know, the, this, this crazy car, you know, and it was overtaking motorbikes and other cars you know in and within traffic you know driving like oh uh, uh, like like a, you know they they were just like objects you know and i was just <laughs> near near misses everywhere you know it was <laughs> it was really crazy and the car was so so brutal and then i was i was once i was driving with uh, ben mylander you know safety car oh, driver yeah 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 the, in a Mercedes C63, I don't know if it has, I think, four, 500 horsepower or something like that. Somebody on my street more... has one of those. Excuse me? <laughs> Somebody that lives on my street has that car. <laughs> yeah, it, it's, it, it's rear-wheel drive, and uh, it's, yeah, it's uh, nice. it, it was raining that day, and you know, oh. we were just sliding and drifting all around the notch life. And oh, my God. <laughs> was, it was also a crazy experience. But if you guys come to Germany one day, I will take you to to the notch level with my. Partner. Oh, I'm Let's coming! It. It's on my bucket we'll list to, to go around one lap. I, I have to go. But I have to train before that on on the PlayStation. Sure. Yeah, yeah. That, I've only I've only did it on uh, Gran Turismo and video, a video game. I've gone around a few times, but <laughs> gotta do it in real life. That's <laughs> my ears plugged. That's amazing. Oh, I, honestly, as as a as a as a fan, uh, just going back one one time to Baku, like. Uh, Go wherever F one like it. Sports has nothing to do with the politics. It shouldn't ever be involved with like international politics. Yeah. Go 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 wherever you want to go. But I, that's still, at the end of the day, there's some things. There's something that that shouldn't be touched. We shouldn't. I mean, you know, a lot of people make made a big stink like like what we talked about uh, when when the French Grand Prix was lost, a uh, manicure whatever. But. <sighs> Let's be honest, Manicure was not that great of a track. Yeah. Don't touch, don't touch Spa though. Don't touch no. Spa. Don't like, no. you know what I mean? The, the, the really historical tracks for a reason should stay, and there should be there should be at least come on, there should be at least a few races in Europe, no matter what. Mm. Yeah. Just just for and the I, history. Yeah. And I I always uh, think that uh, places where you see a lot of enthusiasm enthusiasm by fans, you know, lot, lots of fans in attendance. Yeah. Um, they also have a right to stay there, you know, because right. um, it's it's like like with Mexico or, or other places, you know, even China now, you know, in China in former days there it was a bit, you know, here and there, you know, the a bit bit uh, empty on the stands. But this year, from what I've heard, you know, you can see you can see a, a big improvement there in China. You see know, people, some flags, you know, and people are excited. Yeah, seeing yeah, and there's and a Raikkonen fans. 
Yeah, of course, right? Can that always, uh, <laughs> the, the, the biggest part, you know, the biggest uh, fan favorite. But uh, yeah, but you know, it's it, it seems that Formula One is is really um, is getting bigger in China. So, so uh, definitely deserve their their place on on the on the calendar right now. With yeah. with Sochi, you know, we, I think it's still still to be seen. Yeah. I, I don't like the track to be honest. It's it, it doesn't look good on TV, you know, the photographers also, don't, they don't like it because, you know, they, you always have those fences, you know, in your way and and it looks a bit like a construction site, you know, <laughs> only from the, it only looks good from the helicopter, you know, when you when you see those nice buildings around, but, you know, the those cameras from uh, ground level, you know, or, or even the onboard shots, it looks a bit, you know, it looks like a Formula E track, you know, with all the, all the, the, the cages, you know, the, yeah. the fences. Well, there's hope for Russia because there's been this talk about maybe moving to Moscow, abandoning Sochi and move to Moscow to a street circuit. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Could to be honest, happen. I don't know. I, um, with the, I heard with the ruble, you know, the ruble, um, the, 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 the local currency, it's, it's, yeah. it's going down. So uh, <laughs> Formula One, it's, it's getting, uh, it's getting um, uh, more expensive for, for Russia. Every, every year, you know, every year the yeah. currency goes down, it gets more expensive. They have to pay Bernie more in, in, in US dollars, of course. And, you know, they, there's a lot of, of course, you know, if, if your economy goes down, it's yeah. the same like you see in, in Brazil, you know. And the, the Grand Prix fees with Bernie, they're, you know, they're pretty high. And if you have countries like Azerbaijan, you know, they, don't, they just don't care about the fee or they pay whatever you want. Um, you know, other countries they get under a lot of pressure. You know, if they, if they can't afford it, you know, and even in a country like Russia, you know, they now had the race for I think three years now, thirty thirty year now, and uh, I, I I think fan, the the fans there there, were, there weren't so many fans there, and they make they made a big loss uh, last year. So I I don't know how how long they how long they uh, stick with it. But we will see, you know, there are, there's always talk about new races like, you know, we had it with uh, Las Vegas and California and South Africa and uh, in, in Seoul we had it with the street race, last, that's what I heard last year. So Well, apparently yeah. uh, Kailami in, in South Africa is, you know, yeah. rebuilding. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, they were renovated, renovated the track. Yeah. And and Malaysia too. I, oh, geez, I mean, uh, Toby, you, you've been you've been very generous with your time. It's already. I, I just noticed. I honestly hadn't looked hadn't looked like too too carefully. Yeah, but it's been a, it's it's nine o'clock. It's nine nine thirty in in Stuttgart. Uh, ten thirty. <laughs> yeah, Central European time. Um, no, ten thirty. It's already. Or, yeah, ten thirty. That's what. I'm, oh, Jesus. Yeah, ten thirty. Uh, in in in, no in, in Stuttgart. As as a closing thought, uh, I I just wanna. Uh, just your opinion uh, for the rest of the year yeah. is it, despite all that we've talked about, all the negative stuff and and stuff like it, it's it is there a future for Formula One? Is is the world <laughs> of the future like can it accommodate a sport such as Formula One? I hope so. I, I'm earning <laughs> my money with it, so I'm, uh, <laughs> if, it all go, if it all goes down, it would be pretty bad for myself. But uh, no, uh, so I have to say no. I, I'm, I, I definitely I have the opinion, and you can see that you know with on Twitter and and everywhere. There's so many diehard Formula One fans still, you know, and it's still still one of the biggest biggest sports worldwide. You know, mm -hmm. of course, they are making life life that they like their their lives hard themselves you know with with some stupid decisions you know also bernie and and the teams they have to pull themselves out, self out there you know they have they try have to try to avoid those negative negative uh, headlines and to, to to get you know to uh, uh, when, when we are when we are over now with with this week you know and the regulations are set for next next year and the engines regulations are set for 2018 and i think until 2020, it could be a bit calmer, you know. The racing is good. What are we going to talk about? Are good. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, but I, I think Formula One is not. It, it, the crisis is not not as big as people people are are, are saying, you know. Yeah. It's of course the, the viewing numbers are on, but but I think it's still a great sport and it's entertaining. It's, it's highly entertaining and um, and I yeah, think it, also with the, with Mercedes, the Mercedes dominance, I hope I hope and I see. I see them, as I said, Ferrari and Red Bull getting more involved in, in, in that. And now with Nico Rosberg, and I th I'm sure Lewis Hamilton will, 
will will come back. You know, he will be nice. even yeah. more angry. You know, <laughs> we'll, we'll fight back. I'm I'm sure of that, and I I think we'll have a good season um, this year. Who's go, who's gonna win in it's, Russia? Ha! Huh, that's 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 a difficult <laughs> one. You know, if you if you saw last last two years, you know, actually, uh, in, uh, Nico was was pretty quick in in in, in practice sessions and qualifying and and. He was challenging Lewis a lot, you know, in yeah. in uh, 2014, I think he was second and he, and he won the start and then he did, did he outbreaked himself in the in the first corner and had to go to the pits and lost the race. And last year, of course, that he had this this this, this uh, throttle uh, pedal problem right, 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 while, yeah. while leading the race. And yeah. Yeah, I think he likes the track, actually, so it would it wouldn't be a surprise if he if he wins the, the seventh, seventh race in a row. Wouldn't surprise me. But uh, I think come, come Monaco and uh, uh, Barcelona and Monaco, we will see Lewis Please. Hamilton back. You, you guys have any, any, any closing questions? Yeah, j finally here, I got to, just before you called us, we put out on Twitter if any fans had any questions. Um, this guy, yeah. humidly on YouTube, has two related just about your profession. So you just asked yeah. uh, when, when, you're, when you're reporting on a race, uh, around technical stuff talking to drivers team people general coverage race qualifying just what, what's your favorite f1 topic to cover and uh separately uh what affects like what you're writing about is it the fan interest or is it more like uh do you have a directive for what what kind of stories you're writing about no no not at all we are completely free uh what to write about of course you can yes you have to write about what's happening right yeah no uh, no no we, we don't have you know my my boss don't Tells me we, I, we need a, a fatal story each day, or you know, <laughs> if if I and if I would just look uh, look after traffic numbers, you know, I would do a Michael Schumacher story every day. You know, that is, that, that yeah, is in so. Germany still, you know, if you put the name Schumacher in the headline, you, know, you, you go climb a, over his it's fence. A, it's a guarantee into you his know, to get, get high click numbers, but uh, you know, I don't try to exploit that at all, you know, and I think real fans appreciate it, you know, if you don't yes, look yeah. after that. So we really try to cover all drivers, you know, not just the German drivers or not, not the drivers that are always in, in focus, you know, for sure. Rio Harianto is not the driver <laughs> uh, that we, that we cover the most, you know, like, like Lewis Hamilton, but you know, it's, uh, I, I always say good, good stories can come from everywhere, you know, and, yeah. and if there's a good story out there, we will, we will do it. We, we, we criticize everyone, you know, if, if it's Ferrari with their, we say if there's an engine problem there, we say it, and you know, even if we know the next day they're denying it to to other <laughs> other websites, and yeah. you know, it's 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 always the same game. But um, yeah, well, and, and for sure, all, that's why we, that's why we like reading your stories and talk to you because yeah. you guys keep it yeah. unbiased. Yeah, no, it's, it's 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 always the same. With Ferrari, it's a bit bit more difficult, you know. But <laughs> I hope I hope that that readers appreciate it, you know, because I always you know we're writing huh, like. I can tell we were the first, you know, to 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 hear about those engine troubles, and we wrote about it. You know, we were very careful. We didn't want to criticize Ferrari at all. You know, we just just wanted to say we hear about, you know, there were several engine cha engine changes and and reliability problems. So we wrote about it, and of course they. And then I, I read in, in got a lot of feedback on, on Twitter and in, 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 on message boards and stuff like that. Oh, uh, fans got angry, you know, and stuff like that. And next day, Ferrari was denying it. And then people, ah, oh, look, Ferrari was denying it. And you wrote shit and you lied to us <laughs> and, you know, stuff like that. And, and then, uh, but after Kimi, you know, had that the turbo failure and yeah. uh, Zep in, in Bahrain, yeah, people are. <laughs> People come, yeah. They, and, they, they knew that. They, they, even Ferrari couldn't, couldn't hide that there's something going on with the fireballs the shooting up. Yeah, uh, absolutely. And I guess the, the, the technical. Uh, coming back to your question, the, yeah. the technical side in general is something I, I like to to write about nice. a lot. Because in Ger of, or German readers, you know, they like it a lot. You yeah, know, they, for sure. they, they, they like all those small changes on the car and why is this this happening and who is more downforce, who is quickest in small in slow corners and quick corners and, and, and what updates are planned for next race and stuff like that, you know, that's what cool. our, at least our German audience, <laughs> from what, what we can see from traffic numbers uh, is, is most most interested in. And yeah, and to be honest, talking and talking with engineers is very, is, 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 very, is for me is a bit, it's more interesting than sometimes more interesting than talking to drivers because engineers, <laughs> they, they really, they're, they're not talking bullshit, you know, if you talk to, no, well, I don't they they must, they must, like, a, a lot of the engineers must love what they do. Like, they really, like, love their job and love yeah. talking about technical stuff. And I don't know if it's like, if it's, because, because, 
99% of journalists don't talk to engineers, you know, or, or if it's like, you know, because because they really, they're, 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 they're uh, incredible, intelligent people, you know, and they have uh, sometimes a bit crazy minds, you know, if you, if you see Adrian Newey or something, but they are, <laughs> they, they, they like to, 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 to talk about what, uh, what they are planning and what, what, you know, how the arrow works, like talking to Andy Green by, uh, from Force India, you know, it's, it's, you always, you always go, uh, go out and say, ah, oh, this, uh, you know, uh, they, they, with the airflow, how the air is flowing and the, they're creating a vortex here and there and this little bit is so important and, you know, and, uh, you know, it's it's, uh, it's for me. It's 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 more. It's in many cases, it's more fascinating than having the uh, to talk talk to a driver and and hear the same quotes. You know, you you hear every Grand Prix. But that's awesome. uh, yeah, that's awesome. Well, yeah. hey, hey th th thanks a lot, Thank man, for much. accommodating us. I, I know that you're you're probably just aching to go to bed because tomorrow you're going on vacation. Where where, where are you going? Where where are you and Claudia going, by the way? Uh, going to Japan. Nice. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yo. Try some takoyaki. That's octopus balls. They're delicious. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, seriously. I haven't tried that. Maybe, no. maybe I have tried, but without knowing. You know, I, <laughs> I, 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 I ate pre pretty crazy shit, you know, during, during the Grand Prix there. Because you always got, you know, you order some sushi or other stuff, and you get always get some kind of, uh, you know, uh, uh, some from you know some some free meal you know from from the kitchen first you know and and it could be anything you never you have no idea what to eat if it's a snail <laughs> it's, uh, some mussels or some other in intestines I don't know, you know <laughs> it's squishy and Delicious. raw and but you tr I, at least I try it you know um, yeah you have to, you have to I, try I, it. I like them like all of it but you know uh, at least I tried it well honestly uh, uh safe travels all the best and um. Please, okay. This year we will keep to it. Uh, can we do another one of these later on? No worries. Yeah, we will do. Just we keep in touch. You yeah, know? absolutely. Yeah, towards the end of the uh, season, hopefully we can. Like... I'm I'm sorry that, that I can't. I couldn't offer you the, the the solution for all the problems we have. <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> it's all good. Hey, the people in the people in charge can't offer us any solutions to the problems. Yeah. So. <laughs> But I'm confident it will get better. Nice. Because I think so. Too. Won't hear so many stupid ideas anymore. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Kick Bernie out. <laughs> uh, and again, uh, uh, Toby, again, thank you. Th thank you so much. Thank you for accommodating this. Yeah. We will thank keep you. in touch. Uh, we will make another one of these happen. And uh, again, safe travels and all that. If you want to follow uh, Tobias Gruner, he's on uh, very accessible on Twitter. T, T Gruner on Twitter. T, T G R U E N E R uh, on on Twitter. Uh, lots of good stuff. Lots of good pictures uh, for everybody. And uh, other than that, I guess uh, we'll see you later, man. Thank enjoy you. The, so much. Enjoy the rest of, of your race. Cheers. Cheers. Season. Thanks, you. Have Cheers. a good evening. See you. Bye. Bye. Good night. Awesome. Beautiful. Awesome.